Good morning, everyone. I'm like reading Sunday's paper on Monday because like that's how things go. And I see a little uh, blurb about the spooky movies that are coming out. It's October, getting a Halloween time, so they want to feature like what spooky movies are coming out. So I see The Lighthouse. It's, I'm going to read it from Wikipedia so you can understand everything that's going on here. I, it seems a little coincidental. Okay, The Lighthouse. The film chronicles the story of two lighthouse keepers as they are faced with solitude but start to lose their sanity and become threatened by their worst nightmares. That's the film. Now, I don't know if you know this, because not everybody is looking at every single opera company in the country like I am. You know, you probably follow your local company and like the Met or the Royal Opera, one of the big ones. But I'm kind of looking at all of them on social media to just keep, you know, keep track of what's popular for bracelets and stuff. So there is a uh, opera called The Lighthouse, and it is a, a kind of, it's not, it's from 1980, and it's been done, you know, here and there. It's not hugely popular, but it's out there because it only requires three singers. So small companies with small budgets, they're like, oh, three singers, let's do it. So it's out there. It's out there pop enough for me to have seen it pop up numerous times, numerous places. And what is it about? Are you surprised that it's about lighthouse keepers that are going insane from the solitude and being relived, revisited by their worst memories and nightmares? Go figure. So when this movie comes out and everybody's like, ooh, the lighthouse, because it's like won all these awards, you know, at the film festivals. So it's not gonna be like some like gone in a minute, dumb horror movie. So, Naturally, Zubin wants to get in on the action. Okay. So when this movie starts coming out, you're going to be like, hey, yeah, that's based on an opera. Don't you know that? Because God knows no one's going to tell you that because they want to look creative. So here's the really spooky part. It's all based on a true story. In 1900, a lighthouse supply ship arrived at this particular lighthouse. You can look it all up on Wikipedia. Look up lighthouse opera, lighthouse film. You can read all the stuff and it'll connect you then to the real historical story. So the lighthouse supply ship arrives with the replacements for these guys and the you know, food and all the stuff they need and finds that no one is there. And it looks like they left very hastily. The food is like sitting on the table. The beds look like someone was just in them. And nobody ever found out what happened. So that's kind of like more spooky than anything else. It all happened in Great Britain. So we know it was the Daleks. But um, I just thought you would like to know the connection between opera, film, and history on a Monday morning because I saw that about the film and thought that it would never really be connected because that's how it is for poor opera in the, out in the media world. So I'm here to connect it for you. Have a great Monday and don't forget The Lighthouse coming out in October.